Welcome to Opportunity Crude's Management Seminar Series, an informative look at crude processing challenges. Disclaimers The purpose of the OCMS series is to provide refiners with the latest information in processing opportunity or price advantage crudes, such as heavy sour oil, oil sand bitumen, light tight oil, and highly acidic crudes so that they can make better decisions in light of a volatile oil market. As discussed in our just published strategic report entitled, Novel Strategies of Processing Price Advantage Crudes in a Volatile Oil Market, crude management covers six major areas, crude selection and blending, treating with chemical additives, crude oil storage, desalting, and logistics of crude oil. Video number 4, Crude Cuts, Do You Have the Right Stuff? Part 2, Crude Assays, Blend Recipes, and blending strategies is the second video of a two-part series concentrating on the utilization of crude assays, blend recipes, and blending strategies to obtain desirable fractions in making preferred products. Part 1 shown last month in September discussed the importance of crude selection and key blending criteria. Worldwide Refining Business Digest Weekly Duty, published by Hydrocarbon Publishing Company, for over 25 years. The Digest has been the most inclusive, global, and timely news publication of its kind. This weekly newsletter has extensive coverage of refining industry news in the U.S. Americas, Europe, Middle East, Africa, and Asia Pacific regions. This weekly newsletter contains futures and spot prices for crude and refined products, refining margins, and comprehensive summaries of refining business and technology news culled from hundreds of news wire articles, news blogs, petroleum magazines, trade journals, business newspapers, and government reports from around the world, delivered to you electronically every Monday morning. Each issue serves as a comprehensive recap of the previous week's events, preparing you for the business challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. Lingering low prices since the market route began in mid-2014 have motivated many refiners around the world to buy more price-advantaged heavy and lighter grades on the spot market and try to blend them together in order to create so-called look-alike crudes that are similar to what they have been processing. Despite economic incentives, these crudes often exhibit dumbbell properties, such as higher proportions of light ends like gasoline, lower-value heavy products like fuel oil and asphalt with lesser fraction of valuable middle distillates, and other undesirable qualities for refiners. While refiners have blended different types of crude together for many years, oil price volatility have led some refiners to venture out to new crudes for better price and hopefully higher profit. These first-time events have created a lot of challenges, for many refiners. The concerns go beyond crude refinery mismatch to make products in demand, equipment failures, unit shutdowns, and even safety problems have been reported, resulting in lost profit opportunities. Anticipating and preventing this mismatch as well as solving potential problems of the crude cocktails involve a thorough understanding of the crude properties that contribute to these setbacks. Oil market volatility has prompted global refiners to switch crude types more frequently based on prices of spot cargo's availability, truly giving a meaning behind the term opportunity crudes, which can be light sweet, medium sour, or heavy oil. Price advantage crudes available on the spot market can be very rewarding for a refiner as long as it can handle such special buys. This is because crude purchases represent as much as 80% of a refinery's operating expenses. Therefore, Sourcing cheaper crudes is a paramount refining strategy in achieving good margins and maintaining business. According to Italian energy company ENI's World Oil and Gas Review 2016 published in November 2016, among all the grades as defined by the API gravity and sulfur content, the global production in 2015 was dominated by medium and sour, which had the largest production share of 39.6% followed by light and sweet at 18.5%, medium and sweet at 10.5%, and heavy and sour at 
The table shown on the screen compares the global crude production of various grades from 2000 to 2015. The production share pattern is the same as what was reported in ENI's 2005 report. In terms of production growth, the highest rate was seen with ultralight or condensate at 131%, followed by heavy and sweet at 66%, light and medium sour at 44%, medium and medium sour at 39%. Heavy and sour at 34%, heavy and medium sour at 30%, and medium and sour at 15%. On the other hand, there was no significant production increase in light and sour and medium and sweet, and there was a slight decline in light and sweet. Global oil trade flows and processing have undergone a considerable change since crude prices collapsed in mid-2014. Major global factors include the U.S. lifting export ban in December 2015, the return of Iranian oil after embargo in January 2016, OPEC and some non-OPEC producers' decisions to reduce oil output by 1.8 million barrels per day since January 2017, political and supply security decisions by Eastern Europe to veer away from Russian crude. Also, an insatiable demand for oil to fuel global economy and a shift in fuel consumption have also been driving factors. The following news show that refiners around the world are looking for crudes from afar to save money. In many situations, refiners are willing to try something new that has created a lot of challenges and uncertainties in blending and subsequent processing.